that I'm on. So <laughs> potentially hello and welcome to the Tigers radio listeners for this Blue Square North match on this Tuesday night. Bitterly cold. We'll run through the teams as and when we get the time. But as it is Gloucester in the amber and black stripes, we'll be kicking off from left to right as a hush falls over Wadden Road and we're underway. <coughs> immediately Tom Webb gets it from Hogg. Webb plays it left. Ball is immediately searched for Steve Davis, but it's cleared into the stands and it'll be a throw-in to Gloss City over on the far side. Gloucester filled in an almost unrecognisable team from the standard that usually play. It's hard to distinguish who are the Bishop's Daughter for fans tonight and how many are there, really. There's one man in the corner, the left-hand corner to me, with a flag, and that's probably about it. But to be fair, Gloucester haven't got many either. As the throw is taken, play down the line. It's now with Tom Webb, falls to Steve Davis. Davis believes he's won a corner, but he hasn't. It's going to be a goal kick. And Dan, would you anticipate for today's game? And uh, what would you like to see happen? Well, usually, Ryan, when you come to me and ask me these questions, I've usually got quite a, a, a nice response for you, but from Gloucester this season I've got no idea what to expect um, the game we watched in the FA Cup um, second round qualifying they started really really well up in the faces of the opposition like Gloucester do when they start and then they drifted away straight away so hopefully they switched on from the start and they stay switched on as immediately Harden looks to run into the Bishop's Stafford area and he's through it's Harden it's 1-0 to Gloucester City <laughs> what a start and the crowd go wild Mitch Harden, well done, sir. Bowed his way through the Bishop Stafford defence into the area. And he's just blasted it past the keeper. I can't even know, Mr. Stadelman. And it is Gloucester City 1, Bishop Stafford 0. Uh, I can only apologise for this sort of scrappy start we've had. We've uh, had a producer running late who had the Tigers radio uh, equipment. But at 1-0, I can just quickly run through the teams as Bishop Stafford get the game underway. Gloucester look green, green, Holland, Coop, Hamblin, Webb, Hogg, Goddard, jo Jordan Goddard, Stephen Davis, Mitch Harden, the goal scorer for today, and Isa Corrick, the benches, Jack Harris, Sam Rawlins, Matt Lydiard, Joe Parker, and welcome back, Adam Mann. Bishop Stortford lined up as follows Jorg Stadelman, Anthony Sinclair Furlong, Johnny Hurd, Reese Prestedge, Phil Anderson, Sean Francis, Matt Johnson, Jesse Waller Lassen, Renale Sappleton, Steve Lawley and Freddie Ladepo. And on the bench is Bertie Braley, Callum Webb, Matt Redgrave, Ali Abdullahi and Harry Milton. But what a start for Gloucester City. And Dan, what do you make of the start? I don't know if it's a scrappy goal, it's a good goal. Harding gets the ball, picks it up from about 50, 50 yards from the, from, from the goal on the right-hand side of the touchline. Got kicked it into Freddie Lampardo, number 11 for... Um, for Bishop Storford, he controlled it extraordinarily well. Ran into safe space, no one closed him down. The defender, Phil Anderson, looked to show him wide, but he cut back in, drilled it across the um, keeper, Stapleman, and he went into the bottom left hand corner. It's a great start for Gloucester, and hopefully they can keep this up now. You think, uh, as well, without regulars such as Edwards, Morford, Mullins, potential struggle in it. Even Jack Harris is on the bench today, struggling. It looked like it could happen, but good start, and let's see if Gloucester can keep it up. Started really well hard and he just had a flick on down this far side as well and he looks <laughs> trying to his hardest to get into this game. Chasing down on his right hand side now as I'm talking. Hopefully he can end you transpiring to the rest of the team. Well boy of Gloucester needed something like this and as I said it's a really cold night as Tom Hamden with a free kick right in front of us. Fouled by number nine Renale Sappleton. As ball's played down the line towards Harden. Harden flicks the ball in. It's now Steve Davis in the area. Davis turns to the defender. Davis plays across the face goal. Ace of Corrick will keep it in. Corrick up against the defender. Corrick over on the left-hand side. Looks for the byline. Gets into the area. Pulls it back. Corner ball. Bishop Stalford not happy, but Gloucester will take it. Two great turns there. First from Steve Davis, just on the edge of the six-yard box, managed to turn and get inside. Drilled it across box. No one was gambling getting in there, but Corrick picks it up. And again, a little step over on the far side, got past the player and um, drilled it off the off the store for player. And it went out for a, out for a corner on the um, far right-hand side, which Hogg's about to swing in. Hogg to take from the left-hand side in swinging right at the far post, flicked on. Gloucester Phillips another corner. 
Linesman says corner. The referee didn't really know what to make of it. But coming around the back was Tom Hamblin. And that could have been 2-0. And who knows what could have happened. But it's going to be another corner from the right-hand side. It'll be an outswinger which Hoggle take. Once he retrieves the ball. Plays it short quickly to Webb. Webb into the area. Header in. It's two! Gloucester City. What is this? Tonight, what a goal. And it, it, ooh, it was such a blur, I don't even know who scored it. <laughs> I think it was the, the home debutant this time, Chris Holland. Ball been swung in, he rose like a salmon. You are not going to stop that header, but it is in the top left-hand corner. It's a quality, quality header. It's as good as I've seen. And this is 2-0. All the demons that people would have been thought come from Joy Olsen have been washed away. And this is a great start. Well, you called it right there, a, a massive salmonic leap from Chris Holland has seen Gloucester go 2 0 up, and we haven't even had 10 minutes yet. This is absolutely wonderful. Question obviously on everyone's lips, don't want to be the pessimist of the bunch, but where's this sort of play been for weeks? Uh, but hey, we'll take it as we can. 2 0 to Gloucester City. Bishop Stortford look shaken, they look rattled, and they look rolled, as former wrestler Honky Tonk Man would say, as balls play forward. Slight of a high foot there, but Gloucester will play on. Hogg loses out, but a ball is played down the line for Davis to chase. Davis has caused the defence a lot of trouble early on as Mike Green heads it inside to Webb. Webb nips it in, and Steve Davis was almost in. Sorry, it wasn't even Tom Webb, it was uh, Jordan Goddard doing the young man a disservice there. But Bishop Stortford can bring it away. What if Stortford got to, well, sort of counter this shocking start that they've had? Uh, just highlighted there with number nine, Renee or Sappleton, just slipping, just randomly slipping. It shows what kind of nice is. He, was, he wasn't really, he wasn't on the ball, but the pass would have been there for him. He just slipped and it caused Bishop Stortford to look somewhere else and they ended up giving a throw it away. As Hardin heads the ball on towards Webb, cleared. Hogg heads it forward on the halfway line. Davis can head it up into the air to Corrick. Corrick feels he's been bundled into the back of. Referee agrees, free kick to Gloss there. No complaints from the away team. And uh, Hogg has a chance here. You're looking at about 35 yards out, over slightly on the left-hand side. And after that run of corners, a matter of moments ago, which saw the second goal come in, Gloucester will fancy their chances here. Everyone except the two Mike Greens in the Stortford half. Hogg plays it short into Hardin. Hardin tries to just flick it around the corner. It was quite nice, almost a bit too nice. So the ball's hooked straight up into the air. Goddard scrapping for it. Goddard sidesteps. Goddard with a shot. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Jordan Goddard. Pick that out. Oh, unbelievable. Unreal. I don't even know what to say. He's just picked it up. He's just fought the defender off. He's just put it in the top corner. Just like that. And it is Gloucester City free. Bishop Stortford nil. Do not adjust your radios. Matter of not even, t I still don't even think we played 10 minutes. It's 3 0. Dan, can you enlighten us as three substitutes warm up for Stortford straight away? Well, I was looking down at my notes, looking at um, seeing that Corrick's only made one substitute appearance this season. Um, Harding and Holland are yet to play. The ball comes in for Stortford, it's shot from the edge of the box, cleared away by Hamlin. Was that that got his foot in front of it? And it's gone out for a uh, Stortford corner on the far side. 